Leather processing is a crucial area which still follows age-old practices and technologies. While these outdated technologies consume a lot of water and chromium, the byproducts of processing are often toxic to both environment and humans. Now, aiming to make leather processing safer in all aspects, CSIR, a Central Leather Research Institute, has developed a novel waterless leather processing technique. The new technology, along with reducing pollution to a large extent, will also make the processing of leather easy. Leather processing, perhaps one of the oldest technologies developed by mankind. While leather processing is a major source of economic revenue, the existing technologies pose tremendous threat to environment, in particular water bodies. Besides, large-scale consumption of water, chromium, used as a tanning agent, often finds their way into water bodies along with other solid wastes. According to estimates, about 20,000 tons of chrome is discharged into the water bodies in India, an environmental hazard which can have serious consequences on human health. But now a game-changing technology by CSIR's Chennai-based Central Leather Research Institute may prove to be a step towards more eco-friendly tanneries. Yes, CLRI has developed a waterless chrome tanning technology, first of its kind technology to reduce chromium pollution load. We have come out with a technology where straight from the neutralized condition, we only do a slight modification and then we, we don't use acid and salt. So that means one process itself we are eliminating, about one hour is saved in that. No salt, no acid. So directly we use chrome tanning, no water, so that is a dry tanning. And again 20% of less chromium than the conventional process. CSIR's waterless tanning technology has multiple advantages. While it completely eliminates two processes before and after tanning, it also eliminates the use of water in tanning, reduces the total dissolved solids in wastewater from this process by 20% and also brings down the usage of chromium by 15-20%, to 20 resulting in material saving. On the other hand, it will also reduce the level of pollutant in the rivers. While the novel technology has been welcomed by tanners in all clusters across the nation, efforts are also being undertaken to translate the technology globally with countries like Ethiopia, South Africa, Netherlands, New Zealand, Vietnam and Brazil expressing their interests. 